That new Matt Damon movie came out this weekend, and we're going to answer your burning question, what the frack is fracking? Hey, I'm Trayson, and in this segment of D News, we talk to Christy Reed, who's the Discovery News Earth producer, about fracking. Fracking is a process of extracting natural gas, but I wasn't that familiar with it, and she is a fracking expert at fracking. So she comes to us via Skype because she lives in Paris. Well, hey there, Christy. Hi, Trace. So I went to a movie this weekend called Promised Land, and it stars Matt Damon, and he goes to Pennsylvania to talk to these people in a town about his energy company coming in there and fracking. And they didn't really tell us much about what fracking was, so I figured maybe you would know. What the frack is fracking? Fracking is a way of extracting natural gas from shale rock where it originates. Fracking uses chemicals in millions of gallons of water to extract the natural gas from shale deposits where it originates. So conventional methods wait for gas to leak out of the shale deposits into other geologic formations where it's easier to access. Fracking gets to the hardest parts of shale deposits, cracks them open, and lets, lets the gas out. It sounds pretty fracking intense. It's fracking intense, yeah. So fracking's going on right now in the United States. Oh, absolutely, yeah. There's more than 30 states, at least, that are, are fracking. And fracking has a lot of fracking cool opportunities if we can fracking get our act together and prevent the environmental consequences and earthquakes. So conventional methods, that means like regular drilling. We drill a hole and we wait for the natural gas to go into like a pocket and we can tap into that pocket. Exactly. So with fracking, the difference is, is this liquid that they use? It's millions of gallons of water for each hydraulic pressure well and chemicals that are trade secrets for the companies. So one of the environmental concerns is what chemicals are they using? There's a chance that some of those chemicals can leak into the groundwater. And that's a concern because the Environmental Aid Protection Agency doesn't know what chemicals to test. And if you don't know what to test for, it's difficult to treat the water to make sure that it's safe. Because my farm is gone. The land just turned brown and died. It's happened to one of us. It can happen to all of us. You sign this lease, it gives us the right to drill on your land. A whole lot of money down there. That is a sure. How much you think? Is there really a lot of money to be made or is that, is that kind of overblown? Well, the oil and gas companies, for comparison, spend $1,000 to $2,000 per acre foot of water that they lease from the cities. Whereas farmers can usually only afford to pay the city maybe $100 per acre foot of water. I've read that there are risks of earthquakes as well. Has that been proven or is that just rumor mongering? It's been shown, for example, in the UK, they put an 18 month moratorium on fracking because of earthquakes that happened in, in some of the areas. In the United States, the US Geological Survey has seen an increase in magnitude three or higher earthquakes over the last 10 years as the as the fracking has also grown. I was doing some research and they were talking about mineral rights as well. It's kind of like if you have a milkshake and you get the top of the milkshake and the person who owns the bottom has the mineral rights. I drink your milkshake. I drink it up. Yeah, well, the problem is, is that states need to allow for better protection of landowners. Right now, yeah, if the oil and gas companies want to suck from the bottom of your milkshake, then they can. It's really legally difficult to, to fight against that. Okay, so the environmental consequences are the chemical pollution from the water and potential earthquakes. If we can solve those, is fracking, is, a good, is it a good method to get natural gas? I think if we can solve those, yeah, it would be a great method. And it would be, it's something that the companies are already using. So the question is whether or not we can start to make the environmental issues and the earthquake issues a priority for the companies, because otherwise we're just going to continue. Thanks a lot, Christy. Thanks for talking to us. Thank you. It's fracking good to talk to you too, Trace. Uh, I have to ask, have you seen Battlestar Galactica? Only every episode. Okay, great. So thanks to Christy. Now we know a lot more about fracking and uh, whether it's an environmental disaster or maybe the future of our energy independence, you'll have to decide. Let us know in the comments and subscribe to DNews to get all three of our videos today. Other than that, thanks for watching and have a great fracking day.